Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of an example of a function f that satisfies all of the given conditions. We have the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to negative infinity, the limit as x approaches infinity is equal to infinity, the limit as x approaches negative infinity is equal to 0, the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of f of x is equal to infinity, and the limit as x approaches 0 from the left is equal to negative infinity. So in the xy plane, we're going to graph our function. Let's move right to, or sorry, left to right. Starting here, as x approaches 2, the value of the function approaches negative infinity. So x equals 2, we say, for example, is right there. We're going to have here what's known as a vertical asymptote. And what we say is that as we get closer and closer to this asymptote, the value of the function itself is going to go off to negative infinity. Right? So as we're getting closer and closer, the value of the function is getting lower and lower until it goes off the page. Same thing happens from the other side, just like this. Compare that to the limit as x approaches infinity being infinity. This is not a strict line where we're going off to infinity or negative infinity. We're just saying as x gets bigger, the function gets bigger, and that's going to continue indefinitely. But it doesn't have a as particular of a shape, so we can just say it looks something like that. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity is equal to zero, right? That means as we go in the other direction, we're not just going off to infinity. What's actually happening is we're actually, you know, let's say we are coming from a value like this, right? As we get greater and greater in the negative direction as x is approaching that value of negative infinity, if you can even call it a value, which you probably can't, the value of the function is getting closer and closer to zero, which might look something like this. Not the only way, just an example of this way. Finally, we have the limit as x approaches zero from the right and the left. These are different, which is why it's not just listed as the limit as x approaches zero, as we have with two over here, because they're doing different things on different sides. The limit as x approaches zero from the right, means we're coming at it from values greater than zero, is going off to infinity. So we don't even have to draw in the asymptote like we did with 2, because x equals 0 is just the y-axis. As we get closer and closer to the y-axis from the right, it goes off to infinity, which will look something like this. And from the left, from the other side, it's going off to negative infinity, so it's kind of doing the opposite thing. It's going down. All we have to do is just connect up these points, get a nice smooth function. Suppose you don't technically have to do that. But just for the cleanliness of the graph, we're going to do that. And we now have an example of a function which satisfies all of these given conditions.